Decomposition or decomposing is just breaking down, and that is exactly what happens in a decomposition reaction. Decomposition reactions are where one reactant decomposes or is broken down into two or more products. In order to successfully predict the products of a decomposition reaction, you first need to be able to identify that a reaction is a decomposition reaction in the first place. In this video, we will first cover how to identify a decomposition reaction and then how to predict the products. When identifying a decomposition reaction, there are two main things that we need to look for. First thing we look for is that we are starting with only one reactant, and this reactant is a compound. The second thing we can look for to identify a decomposition reaction is that the one reactant is broken down into two or more products. We can represent a decomposition reaction using the generic equation AB yields A plus B, where we see one reactant, AB, that is breaking down into two products, A and B. Here are a couple examples of decomposition reactions. The main things to notice about these reactions is that they both start with only one reactant and they both end with two or more products. When predicting products for decomposition reactions, we're going to simplify it and only look at the reactions where the compound we start with is being broken down into its elements. When we have these reactions, all we have to do is break down the compound into its two elements. Because we are not bonding two elements together, we do not have to worry about canceling out charges but we do still need to remember to look for diatomic elements. Once we have predicted the products of our reaction, we can then go back and balance it. It is also important to remember that you should always predict the products first and then balance second. So in our first example, we will look at the reaction when NaCl decomposes into its elements. I first need to look at what two elements make up NaCl, and that would be Na and Cl. So I'm going to write Na plus Cl as my products, but I need to add a two to Cl because it is a diatomic element. So the products for this reaction are Na plus Cl2. Now that I've predicted the products, I can go back and balance by putting a two in front of NaCl and then a two in front of Na. If you need a refresher on how to balance chemical reactions, I'll link that video up top. In our second example, we will look at the reaction when Al2O3 breaks down into its elements. The two elements that make up Al2O3 are Al and O. I also have to remember to put a subscript of two on the oxygen because it is a diatomic element. Now that I have my products of Al and O2, I can go back and balance this chemical reaction by putting a two in front of Al2O3, a four in front of Al, and a three in front of O2. So there you have it, that is decomposition reactions. Hopefully now you can not only identify decomposition reactions, but also predict their products and balance them. Thanks again for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, I'll link a couple other videos here that you'll probably like. As always, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when our next video posts.